All right, let's get started, everybody. So the float property. The float property allows other elements to flow around it. This is particularly useful with images and block level elements like div sections. In my example, I have a box that's made out of a div element. It occupies the entire width of the space in my web browser. Any elements afterwards are kind of pushed underneath. It is possible utilizing the float property to have this text wrap around this block level element. And we do that with the float property. Here's what we're gonna do. For this demonstration, you will need two images. I have an image of a Pokeball and another one of Pikachu. Feel free to pick your own images. We're going to insert an image. An image is a block level element. I will set the source equal to be the name or the relative file path of that image. So mine is pokeball.png. But I'm going to change the height so it's a little bit smaller. Height equals, let's try 150. I'm also going to create a few paragraphs of text. In VS Code, you can type lorem, then press tab to generate some text. I'm pretty sure you know that already, though. Let's create four paragraphs. One, two, three, four. My first image is taking up the entire width of my viewport. All this text is being pushed underneath. To make this text wrap around this image and occupy that space, we will set the float property of the image. I'm going to give this image an ID though. ID image1, IMG1 for short. Within my style sheet, I will select the ID of image1, set the float property to either left or right. We'll begin with left though. Then save everything. All of those paragraphs are now wrapping around the right side of my image because we're floating left. I'll add a little bit of margin though on the right hand side. Margin right. I think 10 pixels is fine. And that looks pretty good. You can also float an image to the right. Let's change float to be right. And now the image is on the right hand side. If I were to adjust the size of my window, the text just flows around the image, which looks pretty nice. All right, let's change that back to left. Let's create a second image. We'll place the image between the second and third paragraphs. So my second image is Pikachu.png. Pikachu.png. The height will be the same. I'll give this image an ID of image two. This image isn't floating. Again, the text is not wrapping around the image. Let's take image two. We will float this image to the right. I'll add some margin to the left as well. Margin dash left. Let's do 10 pixels. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Basically speaking, the float property allows other elements to flow around it. Now there is one thing I want to show you. I'll add a border around the body of our document. Let's select our body element. I will create a border that is three pixels solid. Now check this out. With my second image, it's overflowing outside of the container that it's in, the body of my document. There is one change we can make to our container, our body. With our container, I will set the display property to be flow-root. Now anything that's floating will stay within the container. It's not going to overflow. Pikachu is still within the box. All right, everybody. In conclusion, the float property allows other elements to flow around it. And that is the float property in CSS.